sky no more. All right, go ahead, Dylan. Dude, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard like Trump being shot, right? Yeah. Dude, man, these memes are freaking hilarious, bro. Like him, like, have you seen him when he got shot, bro? He just popped back up, like, what? <laughs> you missed me, bro. <laughs> like, dude, oh my goodness. I think there was a another very interesting video that was like talking about like they used AI uh -huh. and then they showed that like if he did not turn at the last second. Oh, yeah. Then he would have, he would have been shot yeah. like in the back of the head or something. OK, actually, we just found the video here. Mm. Let's play that. Take a look what happened. Oh. Did you see that, dude? Dude, yeah, that was close. <laughs> Oh if he, goodness. cause you know how he like he turns when he's yeah, talking. He's like, yeah, that he's last like, yeah. turn. Let's play again, dude. <laughs> Take a look right. what happened. Like this turn saved his fucking life. Yeah. And I reposted this reel on, on on my my personal account, my personal IG account. And I was like, I wrote, the accuracy that you need to be a gunsman is fucking insane. Yeah. Like that one turn. He didn't account for that at all. Yeah. Yeah, dude, the they gun the gunman the was target. was probably like yeah. calibrating his gun. Uh -huh. He he's pretty accurate, I think. The yeah, gunman pretty is pretty close accurate. By, yeah. And then people were saying like the gunman was a fucking retard. Like he didn't know how to like calibrate his his gun or like shoot or aim. Uh -huh. Dude, it's actually hard to aim a, a sniper. Like there's a lot of recoil. You have to factor in <laughs> wind. You have to factor in everything. Yeah, you yeah, have to dude. factor everything. I'm sure that that kid was far away, right? And yeah. Then you mentioned it was a kid, right? I think so. He's like. I think like 20 or younger than 20 he's like yeah he's not even that old okay we'll get to that in a minute but this dude this fucking trump uh -huh. he turned his head when he's like saying that right he wanted yeah. to put more emphasis on that and then once he did that Happened. boom right there like Went the straight. gunsman like if 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 that bullet went into this part uh-huh it was uh, been over dude he would be dead like That's he would like be millimeters, fucking dead. Dude. yeah dude Okay, so let's let it replay all the way to like the start. Okay, so right here, if the gunsman actually shot right here, that's a headshot. Uh -huh. Trump's dead. Yeah. So he actually had pretty fucking good aim. It was only because Trump turned. That's what saved his life. Dude. Okay, so you were talking about the gunsman, right? Yeah. All right, so the gunsman apparently is like some kid. Okay, well, was was he like some, I don't know, probably like some kid that just like incel and you, you, doesn't you think, get any You like think people like, all right, so, so, so mad at life uh -huh. um, that he just wants to kill people that you, are, you think he just like something triggered in his brain or you think like maybe the Matrix or something was like, okay, this guy looks like a vulnerable guy that we could use or, you know, use as a scapegoat, you know, and we're just like, oh, let's just feed him all this like stuff about Trump and then he's just going to end up doing it. Um. I, I think the the kid probably just hates his life. That's that's what really inspired him to like want to shoot up Trump because like all, all the people that hate Trump I, I don't I don't like to get political, right? I don't like to say if I'm a Trump supporter or if I'm a Biden supporter or any of that type of stuff, right? Um I, I don't really consider myself any political party. I, I think all that stuff is really stupid. Mm -hmm. Um but I I think that the people who hate on Trump are people who are like, are are really mad at their lives because um trump is like a very white supremacist dude and then he speaks all these things that are like super masculine so there will be people who are probably like lgbt and mm -hmm. not that manly or just like pussy boys mm -hmm. who will hate trump and it's like these are the types of people who are um against like oh I, you know trump <laughs> you're a promoter of gun violence trump you're a promoter of like uh non-lgbt people you're a promoter of like getting all the mexicans out of here or yeah. illegal immigrants and trump you just hate like you're racist uh -huh. and so these They're types of fed people, into his anger activists right quote unquote mm -hmm. uh what was that group called that that um this K -K -K. guy Lat latifa or something <laughs> I, I forgot I <laughs> No, I, I don't know. What was it? 
<laughs> La- Latifa member, right? Uh, I, I just said KKK off the back of my head. I was like, Trump. Antifa. Antifa. Antifa member. What is that, the anti gun movement or something? I have no idea, bro. Um, I, I don't look into this stuff as much. And then sometimes when I do, I just totally forget what, what it is. But anyways, the, the kids from like Antifa, he's an Antifa member or something, right? Is it a coincidence that people do who do this stuff are usually like they act alone? Like they don't have a team with them? You know, it's like like a serial killer. Like one person planned it and he, he does it. Like he doesn't have like a team. Like, you know, doesn't that like kind of like... I mean, th- that's like, the thing. I thought he didn't have a team, but then if he's an Antifa member, uh, I'm not familiar what the hell Antifa is, oh, you know, yeah, like, yeah. as I just said. But, like, if he's It's hard to pull it off alone. Yeah. It's I hard mean, to pull this whole thing off alone. I don't know if I saw the right picture, but then uh-huh. I think I saw a picture of this how this kid looks, and he looks like just one of those incels with glasses. On, on Reddit. Yeah, 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 with, yeah. With glasses. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I mean, if we could pull up a picture of that. Let me see if I could... His name is Matthew, uh, Matthew Crooks, 20 year old. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you said, oh God, bro. Oh, God, he does yeah. just look like a killer, bro. Uh, oh my God. Okay. Oh, let's let's get that on the screen, dude. Thing. God damn. Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer looking type of dude. <laughs> wow. Right, dude? Doesn't he look, oh my God, bro. Incredible. Would you trust the guy who looks like this? I wouldn't. <laughs> he definitely has no loyalty. Like if if he wanted to like get at a girl, he would probably definitely steal your girl. Yeah. He definitely looks like the type that would be like, yeah, I'm gonna drop my best friend just to like steal his chick. But I have like no chance of stealing his chick because I'm obviously an incel like this who's on Reddit all the time and just like posting shit posts. Yeah, dude. Dude, yeah, this guy, dude, he's 20 years old. He looks like he's 16, dude. Yeah, you could tell this guy definitely hates his life. Or he hated his life because now he's dead, right? I, I feel he's like, dead, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they shot him down. But I feel like, yeah, these types of people who hate on Trump definitely hate their life. Because you don't you don't see, like, people trying to kill Biden, right? Because Biden is, is a very <laughs> supporter of, like... I mean, he's already going to die pretty soon anyways. Like it's it's just amount of time, dude. It's not. It's a ticking, that bro. Out. It's a ticking bomb, bro. Cutting that out, bro. It's a okay. ticking bomb. Come okay, on. But, but the thing is, like, with Biden, I feel like he's he's not polarizing, right? And then uh-huh. especially he's not against like LGBT community. Mm. I feel like a lot of LGBT people, um, they don't, and, and it's actually proven, right? Statistically, mm. I'm not saying this because I hate LGBT, but um, they have more like mental mental health issues Mm. and a lot of them are more actually diagnosed as depressed Mm -hmm. so i i do feel like there could be a possibility that this guy was um gay or maybe bisexual and that that's also contributing factor uh, probably a linear correlation to why he's um hating his life um or maybe he just hates his life and some people who like hate their life they just want to take it all on someone else and they don't want any responsibility so weak men like this they don't want responsibility and they just want to find a scapegoat and a reason to like feel like oh you know what like if i do this it'll make my life better they justify actually, their anger they don't they feel like all their means of improvement mm-hmm. can be improved by taking it all on someone else but they don't think where are my incompetencies maybe mm. maybe i'm incompetent incompetent like this that's why i can't get girls and i can't make money myself and that's why the economy is so shit because i live where i'm shitting in so when you have all these plethora of factors combined together Mm -hmm. this guy is gonna be like you know what i want to take it all on it's someone else because i'm a fucking weak guy who's not Mm -hmm. gonna take any accountability for it so that's just my thoughts. I mean, just just based off looks, but you should never judge a book by its cover, right? <laughs> but it's so I, hard not to. I, I would be very appalled if and astonished if this guy actually pulls a lot of girls. I'd be like, damn, dude, that's he, wild. He looked like he would be a cult leader, though. Like a cult leader, right? Or I don't yeah, know, like yeah. he look maybe part of a cult, <laughs> right? Oh, you're saying KKK? <laughs> <laughs> you can totally imagine the little cape on him, right? Yeah, dude. So, um, I I don't know. Oh, I thought that was the one with the cape. I I didn't look. We didn't look into too much of his like 
reasonings or his motives of why he wanted to kill Trump or mm-hmm. anything. But um, I mean, I, I honestly don't even know what the fuck Antifa is all about. But um, you guys can leave your guys' comments. Like anyone who's watching this, like do like a poll or something. Was this a conspiracy theory or not? Like you know, like I honestly, some people were talking about how like they sent a shooter to to kill Trump, uh-huh. but. I don't know. I mean, because people were saying Trump knew that he was going to get shot before or something. I mean, it was going to happen like by a real person or I mean, sooner or later. I think all of them are real people, but it's just like a a real person who just hates him, hates Trump Uh or like someone who was sent out and hired by the government. Like that conspiracy that, that people like to talk about. They're like, oh, no, it's because like Trump talks against like the government he can't be bought that's why people want like people in the higher up in the government uh-huh. those, those secret people yeah they want him killed matrix right yeah the matrix wants oh. him killed but i don't know i feel like this is looking at this guy it's good reason to believe he actually wanted to do it like a hundred percent it was on his own free will uh-huh. and he was like nah I hate Trump with a passion. Fuck this guy. Dude, imagine what was going through his head as he was shooting and Trump was moving his head and he just missing all his shots. He's just like, why isn't anything hitting? <laughs> dude. I, I don't know, man. I mean, because, oh, you know, you know, the AI, it, it showed that he shot the same place twice. Yeah. I mean, he was pretty, he was pretty like, accurate in my opinion, dude. Like if he shot that same spot twice i mean there were some you know funny things like the 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 video that you just showed at the the start mm-hmm. of this that one they were were showing like some just parody videos of um this guy just shooting everywhere like all directions yeah and missing trump to re- like entirely but, but actually in reality is really close right if that ai rescreening like thing the, yeah if that was accurate dude he looks accurate to me like he he's pretty trained okay. in my opinion it's just like he probably just didn't account for because you know last minute last second, dude like, last second that's second. crazy yeah that's crazy like, ah! it's like he yeah. heard it and he turned or something you know yeah. it's like he yeah, heard dude. something and then he's like oh he turned like right and then it right no no I, I don't think donald trump like actually I heard it or? no i don't think he reacted to it oh, i think okay. i think what happened is that like the the shooter was, was like, like taking like a this. really long time to decide uh-huh. and he was like no i'm gonna do it and then as he was because you have to be really still when you uh-huh. shoot like a rifle i never shot one right but just in movies you can see right yeah like, you have to be you like, have to be super... really still uh-huh. and then when you're shooting the trigger yeah. and then obviously everything has to be really still uh-huh. so probably he was just taking a long time and then he didn't react to trump trump's like turn up his yeah, head okay. <laughs> yeah so so then i don't know i i think the shooter was pretty good with um his his shots but it's just See, and this is why I yeah. feel like we should advocate for men's mental health. Like, you know, like we don't want all these like you know like beta males like <laughs> yeah, these bro. peons running around. You know, like just like that's what we say, man. Because weak men like they're the most scary of society. Like that's why this ties into like that video that we did about like weak men, mm-hmm. because you have shooters like this, and you always see the shooters. They're always the ones that look like they hate their lives. Like you, you don't see. They seem like, pissed off. You don't see them smiling. Or I mean, you don't see a Kevin Nguyen, like tatted up, uh-huh. buff, super Maybe happy like, with his life, pulls all these girls, shooting up a, a whole village of people, you know, <laughs> or shooting up Donald. Trump. You see all these dudes that look like this. Yeah, yeah. They're like incompetent motherfuckers, and he probably was working at Burger King or something. And if one, if people want to say like, "What's wrong with working at Burger King?" Well, it's not a job that you could actually sustain yourself that yeah. or a whole family for. So that's the problem with that, and that's just the facts. You know, I'm not trying to be like a savage motherfucker, but that's just the facts with it. It's reality. So it's reality. Mm-hmm. Like if you're working fast food for a really long time, and I don't know if you're working like a low paying job, you probably hate your life. So. Um, I'm saying probably. I'm not saying you you hate your life. I mean, but but, but we did talk about that. What Caesar's employee <laughs> worked fast for the whole life, and he finally got his the, own little franchise. What was franchise? it? Pop, Popeyes, right? What was it Popeyes or Caesar's? Pop, I think, oh, Caesar's Pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caesar's. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, he so saved so up if, his whole life, and he finally got his own franchise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll we'll put a card there, <laughs> uh-huh. um, up where I'm talking right now. But like, there's this guy. He is a father. He worked at Caesar's Pizza for like. I think 20 30, years 40, and 20 then years, yeah. he posted finally can buy like my own franchise. franchise and then it was like 
a lot of the comments were really negative. Uh-huh. Um, and then we did an episode where we were talking about like, yeah, it's it's not really good like return on your ROI. Your investment, is, yeah. Return on investment was really low, you know. Yeah. If you guys want to check that out, you know, we'll leave it, you know, somewhere above here. <laughs> yeah, in the car. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, that's the problem with working these these jobs man it's just that's why some people would hate their lives but shout out to that caesar's pizza guy like for not going crazy and insane you yeah, know for real. yeah at least there's still some hope in some man bro so do you think there are certain jobs that would drive you crazy to a point like this <laughs> I, honestly for me i feel like nothing can make me crazy i i feel like if i'm down like rock bottom i feel like nothing can make me that crazy unless it's like some crazy torture from um remember that one dude he went to north korea he was taking photos of like the and moving shit around and oh, man what, what happened and he was trying to steal paintings and then um he was american dude, this like a white ass. boy he like, tried like to some, steal stuff from what north korea yeah he, 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 oh my yeah and then bro. obviously the the dude was under surveillance right and then <laughs> so this dude um he was locked up in prison uh-huh. and when he finally finally like i don't know what happened like with president or congress mm-hmm. or, or someone got him back right yeah when they got him back he was in, in a veg vegetative state vegetable state he was oh, a vegetable. So like he probably got tortured or something he got tortured yeah. hard um obviously it's like i mean uh, to a point of a coma that's pretty like vegetable yeah. state that's pretty yeah. uh, intense so <laughs> i i think that's the only thing that would drive me fucking insane like tortured like that like you know um you know, like born, like the Born Identity series. Yeah, right. I, I don't think like after being tortured, I don't think you come back the same. You, you yeah. definitely don't come back the same. Like yeah, dude, that's probably the only thing that would drive me nuts. But I feel like if, if you know what you're doing with your life, you will always find a way to like make money. If you have a plan, right? Or if you don't know, if you can't make money, you'll still find a way to like tough it out. Uh-huh. So I feel like for me. I, I probably would not be like to a point like this like fucking becoming like a shooter bro and making everyone take accountability for it you know yeah like yeah. you think this was a suicide mission or you think he was actually out like was his intention to get killed or like kill Trump or both I think it's both because he hates life he's like I, I'm gonna do justice for everyone uh-huh. but I also hate my life so I don't care if I die uh-huh. it's not dying a hero he's like yeah, depressed yeah. and like I'm just gonna do some stupid shit before or I like die. Like a mar- martyr? What, what, uh, what did they Not call him? Not even a martyr, bro. Like just like <laughs> some depressive dude who thinks he's gonna do some justice before he dies because he wants to die anyways. Yeah. Fucking scourge to society, bro. Like these types of guys, go to the gym, go make some money, right? Maybe, go learn maybe. how to how to talk jo- to join people. Join. <laughs> 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 that out, bro. I'm cutting that out. <laughs> Oh Holy my God. shit! That'll no. get you right. <laughs> I mean, dude, dude just yeah. All right, man. Well, that's all I have to say for this one, bro. I mean, I didn't have too much to say because, I mean, we didn't do too much research. It was just more like a shit post. Uh huh. Just more like laid back. Just talking but, about recent events. Yeah, talking without like research. You know, like yeah. just that's why. We encourage you guys just leave some comments. Whoever's watching, you know, uh-huh. maybe leave you could comments. spread some more light on what actually is happening. You know, yeah, inform yes. us on what's going on, and then we, we yeah, we're very open. Yeah, we're very open to like education. So if you guys want to leave some comments, some maybe some facts that we got wrong because we're mm-hmm. not experts. So this is an open discussion with everyone in the comments. Mm-hmm. But anyways, that's about it for today's episode. We'll see you guys next time.